Hi guys, I was having a little bit of a difficult time uploading a video uh, this evening, so I went ahead and just did this via audio um, because I think it's important and it's timely and I wanted to get this out and make sure um, that, I, that I made this shout out to these uh, two individuals. Um, the first one is um, a woman by the name of Polly Hardman who has uh, created a documentary called As Prescribed. Uh, many of you might have heard of it. It's been kind of in the works now for a couple of years. I think it got delayed uh, in part because of COVID, but it looks like there'll be a release date hopefully here in the next few months. Um, and I've been able to see the trailer. I'm gonna make the link below uh, to the site so that you guys can also see the, the three and a half minute trailer to the movie that looks wonderful. Um, and it really seems like it speaks to the cause and I think it could, it's gonna go to great lengths, I think, to help us for ourselves and our families and hopefully the medical professionals um, um, in terms of just increasing the awareness um, around benzodiazepines and the prescription and the deprescription of them. So again, I'll make that link below. Um, on her site, there's also a place that if you wanna make a donation towards the cost of the production and the release, uh, I'm sure that would be greatly appreciated. But again, um, you know, just obviously take the time to take a look at the trailer and be on the lookout for this film. I'm excited about it. One of the people that uh, you'll see even in the trailer and is a big part of this film is a woman by the name of Geraldine Burns. And I wanted to make a shout out to Geraldine for a couple of reasons. One is, is that, you know, I really consider her, I think anyone that knows her, uh, considers her to be, you know, one of the true matriarchs of the benzodiazepine awareness and advocacy efforts, not just, you know, in our own country, but kind of worldwide. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, Geraldine has a, she lives in Massachusetts. She has uh, went through a really challenging benzo withdrawal of her own uh, back over 20 years ago, where um, she was very, very sick, both on the medication and coming off. Uh, really kind of a profound and, and very sad story, um, but, but one of great strength as she was going through kind of horrific symptoms while trying to raise children and have a family and, and, and just have a life of some sort. Uh, and what she went through at a time when there were no benzo buddies, there were no Facebook sites, there were no support groups, there were no advocacy efforts. She was out there truly in no man's land, much more so than, than we could imagine. And those of us going through it now, and I think it was at the urging of her children that they finally said, look, mom, you've got to find somebody. There's got to be somebody else out there like you. You can't be the only person that this has happened to. And it was, I think, at that, their insistence that she got on the newly uh, developed uh, internet at the time, I think. This was back in the, um, I'd imagine, probably the mid-90s. And uh, they help her, you know, find... Um, uh, mid to late 90s, and they help her find some other people like her. And she goes on to try to begin and start to spearhead some advocacy efforts and, and develop support groups. And And um, one of her goals was to write, put a book together. And so she reached out to lots of different people that she felt might be interested in contributing to it, a page or two, a chapter or two. And one of the people that she had found on the internet that she reached out to and asked uh, for this contribution was Dr. Heather Ashton, um, who some of you may have may, may be aware of who she is. The Ashton Manual is kind of famous in uh, the benzo world. Uh, and for those of you that aren't aware of it, it's really the only, was then and 20 years later really still is, uh, the only real manual we have to rely on to that was thinking about not only um, kind of safe uh, titration and taper schedules to help us get off these meds, hopefully safely, uh, but she also acknowledged the idea of protracted withdrawal syndromes and all the various symptoms that could go along with that. Um, and so what happened is um, Geraldine reaches out to her and says, hey, can you contribute a little bit to my book? And, you know, people are contributing a chapter here, a couple pages here, and all of a sudden this comes this package from England, and it's Dr. Ashton having sent three chapters and, um, and a lovely letter. And they both kind of decide that not only would it be great for the book, but it's, it's so such a wealth of information in and of itself that it serves as its own kind of booklet and pamphlet for benzo users or doctors or family members. 
Um, and Doc, Dr. Ashton gives Geraldine the permission to basically start to disperse this at her will. And this starts as kind of a grassroots effort right out of her kitchen table, starting to mail these things off by hand to anyone and anyone that's interested. Uh, doctors, but, but certainly lots of families and, and, and people reaching out to her, um, you know, looking for information. And so this started off at her kitchen table, uh, mailing these things off by hand. And then I think about eight or nine years later, it became more digitalized and she was able to kind of get it out and dispersed on the internet to any of this. So it's available to all of us. It still is available to all of us um, for free. Um, and so this was the contribution um, that Dr. Ashton made and that was also made possible through Geraldine's efforts. And so I really wanted to, to, to note that because again, um, the, the impact this has had on all of us going through this, you know, having, you know, people like Dr. Ashton who are saying, you know, get this out. You know, like just just get this in as many hands as possible. Let's spread the word, and then people like Geraldine making sure that's happening. And so I know she uh, again, she doesn't toot her own horn a lot, which is one of the most lovable things about Geraldine. Um, and I'm I'm lucky to call her a friend. Um, I, I like many people uh, was introduced to her actually about two years ago when I uh, realized I was. Uh, struggling to come off the benzodiazepine that I was placed on, um, and she was she has been incredibly instrumental and helpful for me in my recovery process, and we've become friends in the process, and hopefully we'll be continuing to join efforts in terms of different advocacy and and and, and different points. But I did want to make that plug. I'll put her uh, link to her podcast and her YouTube site down below, as well as the link to as prescribed. And uh, thanks for listening, and, and please check both of these people out, Holly Hardman and her documentary as prescribed, as well as Geraldine Burns. And again, I, just to reiterate, this is certainly not to undermine all the other people that are out there that have been so instrumental in advocacy efforts and support efforts and clinical efforts. And I, I will make a post at some point because I really want to make sure that uh, we're aware of who these people are, and there's many of them, and I've mentioned several of them in my previous posts, but I will do something later that's a little bit more comprehensive. But just thanks again, Geraldine, for all that you've done for all of these years and bringing this Ashton Manual into the lives of so many of us and being such a support to so many people. Uh, and thank you, Holly Hardman, for, for working so hard to put together this documentary. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, take care, guys.